It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Coming to you from Oracle Open World 2016 in San Francisco, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, administering doses of technical insight from members of the Oracle community. Uh, my name is Jan Henrik Mangold. I'm the Oracle Secure Global Desktop Product Manager. Go, go. I'm here to talk about the gateway, the Secure Global Desktop Gateway, which is part of the regular gateway installation, but many people don't know what it actually is or what it actually does. What it is, it's a reverse proxy. And what it does is it allows to put a component into a demilitarized zone, which is the only thing that actually gets exposed out to the open internet, and then reverse proxies all the traffic to different SGD servers that you will have deployed in your different clouds to give access, secure access to different applications. Now, these servers might be in different locations. It is important to know what the uh, uh, gateway actually does when it reverse proxies. There are two components to it. There is the actual HTTP traffic for the web top or workspace that is being reverse proxied between the client through the gateway to the SGD server. And then there's the actual AIP traffic which is encapsulated in the SSL traffic that displace the actual application that is being given access to through an SGD server. Now here's the kicker. When you actually have multiple SGD gateways connecting to multiple SGD servers that are in different locations for the HTTP traffic alone, you wouldn't want the gateway to actually proxy round robin, proxy the traffic from let's say Singapore to the United States if it's just the HTTP traffic. And that is where the load balancer comes in. You basically have the ability in the load balancer to determine which of the SGD servers the HTTP traffic should be lo load balanced to. Again, separate from the AIP traffic. There is a web interface that allows you to actually control the load balancer of the gateways while they're running. And there obviously is a configuration that you can make this survive a reboot, which then allows you to create load balance zones. So whenever the system restarts again, everything is the way it's supposed to be and your people stay where they are supposed to be. What did you think of that tip? I think you've got what it takes. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.